hello everyone uh, today i'm going to make the oversized uh, twisted headband i did the oversized braided headband before but when i saw question on the oversized twisted i was thinking it's not anything challenging until i i actually did it but let's go through it we'll do the correction along as the tutorials we go on so i started by using my fiber to fill the material which is the fabric i sew so for this fabric actually you can take any size but the size i took the size i took is seven inches for the width and the length the full length of the material so if your material is by 45 the material is by 60 i just took the full length of the material okay i don't want to do anything that will be too short or whatever so but if you have by 45 is okay so 7 by 45 is fine okay so i fill it with fiber that it was the fiber i showed you now what made this uh, oversized uh, twisted airband unique is the fact that you have to fill the fiber very tight do not use foam a lot of people can use foam but do not use foam if you are watching this video now you cannot get this this uh, oversized twisted headband correctly if you use foam but if you decide to use foam it's your choice so like i always say the method i use for my um, work as in my creations they are not the only available method but i sincerely want to advise all followers of creative Events international that please if you are doing this oversized twisted headband do not use foam sew your fabric and fill it tight with with your uh, uh, fiber i showed you the fiber now I know some people will want to ask me where do i get fiber and all of that is in the market where they sell um mostly where they sell bed sheet uh, materials because they use this fiber to sew uh duvet so the fiber is always there where you see duvet this the fiber is there so when you feel it tight you saw the way i sewed now you have to sew close the edge one of the edges to allow you feel it very tight all right while you leave one part open where the fiber will be passing in and then when you are done and you want to twist you have to hold the two edges together and sew it first so that one you sew is not a measurement tool you just sew it all right then you come to the other end and then you sew after sewing this end where i am sewing now you will not take the measurement and how do you take the measurement you take the measurement by placing it on your head because me that's what i do i cannot just tell you that use 25 use uh, 15 or use 18 no i place it on my head and i determine how far i want it to go i've seen this uh oversized twisted uh headband on some people's head the distance the distance is too much i normally see that you nearly want to see the part where it is joined from the uh, the back of their ear it's too close it's supposed to like go in inward to the neck you know just a little distance at the neck is okay so that it can properly curve and sit well so after i sew it like this the next thing i did was to cut the excess part that i do not need away i'll cut it out then when i cut it out i'll pull off the uh, fiber from it the reason i'm doing that is to allow me easy access to sew because if you want to sew it uh, with the fiber like this it will not work well it will not work your work will not even be neat so you are supposed to take your size cut it off remove the fiber then you will be left with just the material that is maybe the satin or whatever material that you use for it you will be left with just the material so it will allow you 
to be able to fix your elastic or handle to it i said that i have some kind of correction i want to do here i will give you the explanation at the end of the video because this uh, oversized the twisted oversized uh airband this actually was the first one i made so and me once i'm working i i learn and unlearn during the process so while i did this work what i actually imagined in doing it was what i did but when i was through with it i concluded that i should have done it in another way so i'm going to explain it to you but if you like this process it's also fine but then i will still explain the second process so for this process i went ahead and attached elastic to it all right so what i did was to take the fabric from the other one i emptied the fiber from it and then i push it through and so to hold the first uh, side of the band and then i went ahead and attached my elastic and so same thing i'm doing here i will attach the elastic cut off the excessive elastic as well and then i will now use the uh, fabric that you are seeing there now to cover it while i cover i can decide to either sew or glue but if you ask me what would be the best uh, method i would say that you should sew because when you glue it has a way of giving way it will give way after some time but when you sew it will be long lasting so this is the correction i want to make you see the part where i fix elastic there when i was done with it i was not too satisfied with it so i now thought or it came to my understanding that um if i separate the two and that is after the twisting now when i cut off the the excess and remove the fiber each of the handle is a choice you can do it or you may not do it each of the handle i'll fix separate and to it that is i will add a, a separate a, a extra fabric i mean to each of this handle and when i do that when i add that extra fabric to one two one two on the left one two on the right one two when i add it then i will now use it to twist each other that is i will twist it eh, and then join it together because i felt it will be neater it will be more presentable than when i added elastic but when i added elastic it was not all that it wasn't bad anyway but i'm just looking at what will give me a very unique finishing so that particular method i felt will give us a perfect uh finishing compared to this elastic uh method but then like i said before the choice is yours so thank you very much for stopping by creative events international i so much appreciate you for always uh returning to view our channel and also recommending the channel to other people i appreciate you so much so um i also want to still encourage that if today is the first time you are discovering us please do well to subscribe to our channel before you leave today and also please do not forget to recommend the channel to your friends and to your loved ones and i will see you in my next video so for now is bye from my end do have a wonderful day love you bye